If you think the price of winning is too high, wait till you get the bill from regret. Discipline weighs ounces, regret weighs tons. The price of regret is much heavier than the price of discipline. You never want to wake up one day, one week, one month, one year down the road and go, Shh, man, I wish I would have listened to my gut. I wish I would have done this thing. You don't want to live in regret. If there's something you want to get done in work, your relationships, school, whatever it is, do it. You can have a new year, but it don't mean Jack Diddley if you don't have a new mind. No more f***ing around. You want your life to be better? I can't help you. Only you can f***ing help you. Wake yourself up. If you want a new year and a new life, you don't need to start on January 1st. Start today, right now. What do I really want in depth? What are the rituals that will get me there? And then get yourself to start a few of those actions and lock them in place. If you make the changes in yourself, you're going to be proud this year. And no amount of money or accolades from other people can mirror the feeling of being proud of knowing you've taken back control of your life. Everything in life is always changing. We don't have to work on change. Change is automatic, but progress is not. So if you want to make real progress, you got to say, I got to take control of this process and not just hope it's going to work out. When you've resolved, this is how it's going to be. That's when you cut off any possibility except the thing you've committed to. If you want to take the island, you burn the boats. Because when you burn those boats, there's no going back. You're going to find a way to make things work. You got to do your best work when you're at least motivated. So those days you don't want to do it, you got to second the f*** up and do it. Time is running out. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. You walking too slow. Pick up the pace. You moving too slow. Pick up the pace. There are only 86,400 seconds in a day. And you got to not only operate in them, you got to do it fast. For some of you, you act as if you have another opportunity. I'm wired differently. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Because the day you become content, the day you stop growing, the day you stop getting better, is the day you die. Be what it is you claim to be about. Be what it is you truly want to be. If you truly want to be successful, if you truly want to change your life, if you truly want to lose 50, 100, 200, 500 f***ing pounds, be about it today. You master the present. And when you get to the point where you start winning the day, then you start winning the week, and then you start winning the month, and then you start winning the year. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You got to bet on you. You believe in everybody else, you clap for everybody else, you support everybody else, but when are you going to look in the mirror and believe in the darn person you see? It's about time for you to believe in you because you got it. I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I'd rather try and fail than not try at all. I don't want to live with the idea, wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm going to go for it come hell or high water. Going after my destiny. I've got too much vision to stay in this rut. I don't care whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, there's something down inside of you that's still kicking inside of you that wants to get out and it wants to live. There's something that you could do that you could think in your life that would radically change your life. Somebody could take the hand you've been dealt and win with it. Same circumstances, same ideas. They would do it through what they thought about your life. But we don't need somebody because we got you. You're the one. You are the one.